the layer comps panel in Photoshop is where you can create, manage, and toggle between multiple versions of a layout within your document. By taking a snapshot or capturing the layers panel in a specific state. And it allows you to apply changes globally to the appearance of your layers throughout all the layer comps. Alright, so I got the layer comp panel open right here. If you guys don't see it, all you gotta do is click on window and go to layer comps and click it. And then you can put it wherever you want in your workspace. But this is what it looks like with nothing in it, no layer comps added, right? We got all these options at the bottom, but they're going to be grayed out until you have a layer comp. So first, we're going to want to click this button, right? Then the new layer comp dialog box is going to pop up. You can name it. You can choose what to apply to the layers. You can apply what it looks like, which is visibility. You can add the position to that, the appearance, which is your layer styles, and then layer comp selection for smart objects. Visibility is the only one checked by default. Uh, if you want to, you can add a comment also. And then we click OK. Now that we have an active layer comp, I'm going to come back to our layers panel, and I'm just going to show this layer, and then come back to layers comps panel, and click add new layer comp. We're going to keep it layer comp 2. Click OK. Now when we click on this side here, it's going to bring us to what the layers panel look like at that time. And remember, this doesn't change what's in your actual layers panel. If you get lost and it's on a layer comp that you don't want, just bring it right here. Last document state and then go back to your layers panel and continue working however you were working. But if I were to select layer comp 2 for example and I come down here these are your options. We can apply the previous layer comp, we can apply the next selected layer comp which is just going back and forth, we can update the visibilities of selected layer comps and layers we can update the position of the selected layer comps or layers. We can update the appearance, which is your layer styles or FX. And then we can update the layer comp selection for smart objects. After that, we got update layer comp. If I click it, it's just going to update and refresh it. I already showed you what this does. It just adds a new one. And then this one just deletes it. Um, these here, these buttons here, this is just toggling the options that you had in the dialog box. So you can toggle the position, the appearance, which is the FX or layer styles, and then the layer comp selection for smart objects. So if you were to click this here and then forget to add these in the new layer comp uh, dialog box, you can always add them back right here. And then last but not least, there's a couple more things you can do. If you right click on a layer comp, make sure it's highlighted and selected. You got these options here. Or you can just come up to the top right and it's got all those same options here also. You can add a new layer comp from here. You can duplicate or delete. Um, you can update, update the layers the visibility, position, appearance, and layer comp selection for smart objects. You can apply a layer comp. You can go to the next and previous or restore the last document state. You can close or close the whole group. And then when you click this, it just brings you back to this box here. You can also get to that by double clicking on the layer. So pretty much these options down here, this hamburger menu at the top right, and right clicking or double clicking, they all get you to the same place and the same settings or options. So that's about it for the layer comp panel guys. If you got any questions or comments, make sure to put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.